Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to tell you how you can get Prime Weapons and Prime Warframes in the PlayStation 4 version of Warframe. Because even though this game is really good and it's really fun, I think that when it comes to some of the newer players, especially on PlayStation 4 and myself included when I first started playing this last year, is that Warframe can be very intimidating and sometimes off-putting because it doesn't do the best job at explaining some of the things in the game that really keep you coming back for more. It starts to look more like a grind than anything else because some of the finer details are just things that you kind of have to learn on your own by searching it on Google, reading forums, looking at the wiki page, and you know, not a lot of people want to actually do that. So if you were ever playing Warframe and you jumped into something and you saw people with all these fancy looking gold Warframes and Prime weapons and people talking about Prime this and Prime that and well, what the heck is going on and how do I get what they have? That's what this video is for. I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 version, so the things that you see here are going to be based on that build of the game, although most of the concepts still also apply to the PC version as well. So let's get right to it. Uh, right now, as you can see, I've got my Mag Prime right here, and she has the Paris Prime Bow. Awesome. So how in the heck did you get that, Jeremy? Well. One thing that I really was not aware about until I actually looked for it myself when it came to Warframe were keys. I didn't know what keys were. For the most part, all I did was just go to the star map and just do missions and just, you know, try to clear out one planet, move on to the next planet and just hope that cool things would just happen. But it doesn't work that way. So keys are very important these are tower keys and these tower keys unlock special missions within this place on the star the star chart called the void and within these void missions are where you can find the prime warframe parts and the prime parts for the for different weapons in the game that you can't get just through going through regular star chart missions on the on different planets you have to go to the void in order to get them first time i was taken to the void i was like are you what is going on this is crazy everything is kind of gold and uh, it was just blew my mind i had no idea that these things even existed so how do you get into the void how do you get void keys Void keys can be gotten on these planets from doing certain missions. So, for example, uh, the type of missions that will that will give you the opportunity to get void keys are missions that last for a long period of time and that reward you for taking more risks. For example, defense missions. Defense missions are those missions where you're usually just defending a certain spot. Usually it's like a cryopod or something and you'll have to face wave after wave of increasingly difficult enemies and the longer you stick around the more rewards that you'll get and if you stick around long enough there's a chance that you will get a key. A key that you can use to go into the void and you can just start hunting for your prime parts or your prime warframe parts. So it's defense missions and also so survival missions because survival missions also reward you for sticking around as long as you can if you never did a survival mission it's just basically uh, let's just call it like a horde mode except you are constantly suffocating and you have to uh, you have to keep activating life support in order to keep uh, yourself from losing all your health and losing all your shields and eventually you know dying so the longer you stick around from that there is a chance that you will get a key that you can use in the void. So that's the first thing you have to do. The first thing you have to do is get a key. Go to the defense missions and the survival missions. Stick around for as long as you can. And you will most likely be awarded a key. So once you actually have a key, you can just go to it. Pick whatever key you want. Like Tower 1 Capture. Why not? You jump into the void. Alright, so now you're going to get matched up with players and off you go. No. It doesn't work that way. You cannot, the game does not matchmake you with different players so you can enter the void. It's one of the things that I don't like and I hope that they find out a way to get around it. Because in order to play within the void with actual players, you have to either invite them 
or they have to invite you. There is no automatic matchmaking system for that. And the reason for that is because these keys are perishable, which means that the person who hosts the match will be using their key, but only if the mission is successful. So I have only one of these or uh, Oregon derelict exterminate missions. If I use this key, go into the mission and the mission fails, I still have the key. But if I go into this mission and the mission is successful, then I lose the key. And that's cool. But you need to have other people to play with you. But what if you don't have any friends on the PlayStation 4 that play Warframe or, you know, you're the only one who does it? How do you what happens? How do you how do you team up with people? Well, you're going to have to do your own matchmaking, and you can do that by hitting the options button on your controller and going into the chat, the wide open public chat. Now, if you don't see this, chances are you haven't enabled it. So uh, go down to the options and go down to global chat and make sure global chat is on, because if you turn off global chat, you'll see it's completely disappeared. The tabs for trading and recruiting, it's all gone. So just go down to options, turn on the global chat, confirm it, and then it'll just be sitting there at the bottom of the screen, and then you hit the uh, options button on the controller, and then there you go. So what you wanna do is move over to the recruiting tab, and the recruiting tab shows people who are chatting in real time mostly asking for different people to come join them in their game because they want to play with people just like you want to play with them and they've got certain matches that they want to play so for example i'm looking at this one person um whose name is just so strange i can't even begin to pronounce it uh wow I'm not going to try that name. All right, so I'm just going to go to what looks like J Martinez 8 and he says or she says T4 interception PM for invite. So what that means that he's using short term, it means that he's running or she is running a Tower 4 interception mission and they would like for you to send them a personal message if you want to be invited into their game. Awesome. So how do you send a personal message? This is not very controller friendly. Hopefully in a future update to Warframe, it will be more controller friendly. But my advice is to use a keyboard when you're doing this because it will just be a lot easier. Or perhaps the uh, companion app on the PlayStation uh on the PlayStation app for Android and iOS. I think maybe you can use the keyboard so you can just type it on your phone or your tablet. But what you're gonna have to do, when you wanna send someone a personal message, like if I want to talk to Jay Martinez, you press square to bring up the keyboard. And then the way that you do it is you hit backslash W space, you type in their name. So uh, it's Jay Martinez, but I'm just going to do this like that. Blah, blah. Okay, so let's say that's their name and then you hit space again and then you t you type your message to them. So let's say I usually just say invite and I'll put a question mark in it and then you just hit done and it will send them a personal message. So this is this is what you have to have to learn when you want to send someone a personal message. It's going to be slash W. The person's name exactly how it is it's cap sensitive and then your message usually just invite will do the trick you send that message they will get it a new tab will open up right up top and they usually if you if you ask them quickly enough before they fill up they usually invite you immediately to their party and all you have to do is just hit X when you see the pop-up that says this person has invited you to, to a game and then you'll be in the void mission with them and then you play with them and then maybe if you're successful you'll get a prime part for your Warframe or for your weapon that's one way to do it and it's usually the 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 best way to do it because you'll be leveling up your Warframe, you'll be leveling, leveling up the weapons that you have, you'll be playing with different people, and you'll, you'll just be playing the game. So that's one way to do it. The other way to get Prime weapons and Warframes is to just buy them or 
trade for them inside of another tab called trading this is the trading tab so this is an open marketplace it's not very sophisticated but it is an open marketplace nonetheless and what you see here on this scrolling text box are people who are selling different items and people who are wanting to buy different items now the type of things that you can buy and trade and sell in warframe are mods and uh, prime warframe parts and weapons weapon parts and also platinum so these people they're selling all these different parts like uh, for example this person uh, wants to buy a bow prime handle for 65 platinum platinum is the premium in-game currency so yes you can earn platinum which is the premium in-game currency that you can only really get with real money, you can get that platinum simply by selling off stuff that you don't want anymore, stuff that you just might have lying around that you're not going to use. So, for example, you know, I've got, you know, just hanging around. I have a, where is it, where is it, where is it? Here's a Latrone Prime. You know, and I forgot everything for it. I've got the blueprint. I've got the barrel. I've got the receiver. I've, I've got the stock. I've got that whole set. And if I don't want to use that, you know, all I have to do is just go into the trading tab and I can just type a message that says, hey, want to sell or WTS, Latrone Prime Receiver. I can put my price, how much I'm going to sell it for, or I can ask people to just send me a personal message with their offer. And if they accept, I can just sell it to them and I will have platinum. In fact, that's really how I've gotten uh, platinum in the past. I've never purchased platinum. Um, but that's one way to do it. So when you trade things with people, the way that you actually go about getting the item or, or getting the money that you're selling, you need to be, you need to be in a clan or they need to be in a clan because you can only trade things from inside your clan's dojo. So once you join a clan, uh, just go into the marketplace and get the blueprint to make a clan key. And uh, once you have that clan key, it'll show up inside of your keys menu here. And this key does not go away. You don't have to keep making them. You just make it once and then you're good to go. And then you can use that to enter your clan's dojo. And I'm going to go there now. And inside of my clan's dojo, there's going to be a trading post right where you spawn in. And from that trading post, you can go through with whatever transaction you're going to go through with. Now, you have to invite the person into your dojo if you are going to initiate the transaction. Or if they're going to initiate the transaction, they have to invite you to their dojo so you have to both be there in order for this whole thing to go down and i can only show you a limited view of what that is like so i believe the trading post is over here oh no that's the vault so this must be the trading post yeah so this is the trading post and there's only one person uh here right now that's available for trading and uh if I want to trade with this person, let's say this is the person that I want to trade with, I would just hit X and then you would just see a little box there or a few different boxes that say, what are you offering? And then you pick, you know, this is what I have to offer. And then, this, then the other person, they put inside the box what they're going to give you. You can confirm the you can confirm the transaction, make sure that you are getting exactly what you want to get, exactly what they said you were going to get before the whole thing uh, goes through. It's a very quick process, but, you know, be careful because, you know, if I had this one guy, you know, he said he was going to sell me a Mag Prime systems and I was like, OK, I'll, I'll buy it for you for this mini platinum. We went to the dojo. He tried to throw a chassis in there. I told him I was like, I don't want the chassis. Then he tried to throw an uh, uh, Orthros prime weapon in there and i was like no i just want the systems i want what you said you were going to sell me he tried to sell me on two totally different things and when i said i didn't want them he just left so be careful because people try to get you make sure that you always read and make sure you're getting exactly what you are asking for or what they said that they will give you and don't take any promises just if it's there that's what you're going to get can't really trust people so yeah that's uh that's pretty much how you get your prime weapons and for your for uh for warframe and that's how you get the prime parts for your warframe 
So just a quick overview, go to defense missions and survival missions on whatever planet you want and continue playing them until you get void keys. And then once you get the void keys, if you don't have uh, an active uh, community of friends that you like playing Warframe with, go right into the recruiting tab, see what people are actually uh see what kind of missions they're running and then you can jump into there into there and play with them and get different parts but how do you know specifically what part that you want i mean because not every prime weapon not every war prime warframe part drops in the same mission so how do you know there is a way i'm going to leave in the description I'm going to leave in the, in the description a, a link to a to the forum post that was created by um, by the developers of the game for the PlayStation 4 version. And inside of that post is constantly updated. It shows you what missions drop, which prime parts in which prime warframe parts for weapons and your and your warframes. So you can just uh, refer to that forum. And that's really the only one that I would trust because that's created by the developers and it's constantly updated. Last time it was updated was uh, earlier this month in July when the latest update came out. So refer to that list so you can know exactly what missions are going to drop which parts that you want. And then you just look to see who's hosting that event. And then you can just go and join them and hope that you get what you want. And always pay it forward. Host your keys as well. Uh, so you can, you'll be taking but then you'll also be giving giving out some uh some uh opportunities as well so keep it nice and even so thanks so much for watching this i hope it wasn't too confusing but warframe can be that confusing and i uh, hope that this helped you out because you know i stopped playing this game for quite a while because these are the things that i didn't know until i took some time to really try to learn it for myself so i hope i uh, i hope i made this whole process easier uh, for you to go through. So again, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy and I will talk to you later.